So in this video, what we're going to be looking at is sketching the locus for each of these on an Argand diagram and also finding the Cartesian equation at each stage as well. So let's crack on with number one. The argument of z is equal to 5 pi over 6. OK, so let's draw our Argand diagram. So real axis and imaginary axis. So this is going to be uh, starting at 0, uh, an angle of 5 pi over 6. So 5 pi over 6 is something over here. So something like this. Uh, at that point, the origin isn't included, of course. This angle here will be 5 pi over 6. OK. And so if I want to work out the Cartesian equation for this line, then really what I want to be working with is the fact that that angle is pi over 6. And I can look at the uh, tan of that angle is opposite over adjacent, which is going to give me the gradient of my line. But of course, I'm going to have to take the negative of that. So tan of pi over 6 is root 3 over 3. OK, so I've done the tan of pi over 6 is root 3 over 3. OK, so I want the negative of that. And because it's going through the origin, it's just going to be y equals minus root 3 over 3x, uh, where x, in this case, is less than 0. OK? And so that would be the equation of my half line. Right, let's have a look at number 2. So the argument of z is equal to minus pi over 3. So real axis, imaginary axis. So minus pi over 3 is somewhere down here, isn't it? Uh, well, more like that, I guess. So not including the origin. That angle is pi over 3. OK. So um, what I want to do then is find tan of pi over 3. So tan of pi over 3, which is root 3. OK. Obviously, the gradient's not root 3. It's negative root 3. Going through the origin. So y is equal to negative root 3x where x, in this case, is greater than 0. OK, so that's the equation of my half line. Now, number 3, the argument of z take away 2i is equal to pi over 4. Right, so that's my real axis. That's my imaginary axis. So it's starting at 2i, so 2 on the imaginary axis. The angle's pi over 4, so it's going to look something like this. The angle's pi over 4. Now, tan of pi over 4 is just 1, and it's going through uh, 2 on the y-axis, right? So y equals uh, x plus 2 would be the equation of your line, um, where x is greater than 0. OK, so that's number 3. Right, number four, real imaginary. Now, um, we've got z take away three, take away five i's. So three fives, so three along, five up, somewhere like that. OK, so that's where we're starting. Now, the angle's minus 2 pi over 3. Now, I'm not sure whether that means it's going through the positive imaginary axis or the negative one. So I've got to be a little bit careful here. OK, so if I find the equation of the line, then I can, uh, I can draw my sketch accurately. Now, I know I'm starting from there. OK. Um, I know that this angle here is 2 pi over 3. OK. So this angle is going to be pi over 3. So inverse, sorry, tan of pi over 3, not inverse tan. Tan of pi over 3 is equal to root 3. So root 3 is going to be the gradient of the line. OK. Now, if, pi, if root 3 is the gradient, 
then I'm going through 3, 5. So y minus 5 is equal to root 3, x take away 3. So y is equal to root 3x, take away 3 root 3 plus 5. Now minus 3 root 3 plus 5 is minus 0 0.196. So that means that my line does something like this. It goes through the negative imaginary axis. So that point there is 5 take away 3 root 3. There. OK? And I'm not including that point. And where x is less than 3. OK? And so that's how we can uh, sketch these lines and find their Cartesian equations.